Welcome to AST Manufacturing Facilities. My name is Mark Fatch and I'm the Chief Engineer of the Smart Shelter Container Solution. Let's take a look up on our compact solution. As you can see here, this is a 40-foot container, regular ISO container ready to be shipped with two access doors. One would be the main door and the emergency door at the end of the container. Access control system being integrated into our container in order to allow access. And this compact container has been configured in two uh, specific zones or areas. First area would be the services area in order to fit our IT area in which we have been assembled 12 racks at 8 kilowatts per rack. 8 kilowatts, 8 kilowatts per rack in this specific case is our low density solution in which we can assemble up to 35 kilowatts per rack inside of 40, uh, 40 containers and up to 20 uh, racks inside this unit. This means that we are capable of deploying 1,000 use of free space for our servers. Our rack system is being configured in a way that we allow perfect access on the front side and on, on the back side of the rack with our special railing system. Our railing system has a braking uh, system. I just release the braking system in order to allow nice and easy access on the front to install really deep servers. We have a nice space here of one meter in order to install really deep servers of any hardware manufacturer on the market. If I release the brake again, we'll have a, a look at the back side of the, of the rack in order to understand our specifications or the space that we have available as well on the back side. Let's move this IT rack together with this IT rack. Really easy and fast to be moved and we are capable of providing or these racks are capable of withstanding up to 1500 kilowatts uh, per rack. As you can see here I have nice and good access, one meter approximately, in order to install as well and cable all the racks easy and in, in an easy manner, just like a data center deployment or, or regular data center construction. As you can see here we have, uh, we have a design as well, the e-chain system in order to allow our uh, cabling into the racks. For example, this e-chain system is capable of, uh, of uh, installing up to 300 cables in one of these uh, chains. So at the end of the day, any type of configuration, cabling, as well as um, communications or uh, power cabling can be installed in this container. So moving back these racks into its rest position, we can see how the cooling system works. Basically what we have assembled here in order to provide 8 kilowatts per rack are overhead fan coils which will take hot air from the hot, ca uh, hot uh, corridor on the back side, cool it down and bring into the cold aisle the fresh air and then back into the servers, providing again this 8 kilowatts per rack. There are different technologies that we can assemble in order to provide higher density as I was explaining before. If we move into the services area, we see here a totally two end redundant uh, units in which we have assembled two UPSs, 100 kVAs each, as a redundant uh, configuration, together with redundant air conditioning to provide enough cooling in this area. Early detection systems as well to provide appropriate uh, security from the, uh, from the fire, uh, internal uh, uh, fire hazards, together with the switchboards main uh, breaker for the main uh, feeding together with an ATS uh, for the genset. Then we go into the switchboard where, where we uh, protect all our uh, services uh, units such as air conditioning and UPS. And then finally we go into, the, into the, the protections for our servers which are hot swappable. Therefore, this switchboard has been designed and has been built in order to allow easy and future expansion by providing additional space by these high hot swappable units in order to allow uh, future growth uh, in, the, in the future or maybe expand our density from 8 kilowatts to a higher density needs. Finally, we have assembled on this unit as well EPO, the uh, emergency power off uh, button in order to, uh, to comply with local regulations as well. So this is uh, more or less the, the general overview of this, uh, of this specific unit. If you need more information, I recommend you to access www.ast-global.com.